Hi everyone, today I'm going to rate in 10 Wii games that I've played throughout the years. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And I thought it was a different idea since I'm always doing similar kind of blogs and I just want to do something different since it's hard to think of ideas for in lockdown. But when I was sleeping the other night, I thought, oh, I could rate the Wii games I got because I play the Wii literally all the time. So I thought this would be a really good video. It might bring back memories for you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. And yeah, let's get into it. And make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this. The first game that I'm going to rate is Wii Party. Now I absolutely love Wii Party. Wii Party is basically where you just play lots of different games, like as a family or with friends. You get like the two player games where you do like the friendship game and whatnot. I can't remember what else there was. And you get like all the family like board games. And my favourite one is Board Game Island. It is so fun. Um, it's basically where you go around an island and you have to try to get to the end. But you can that you can fall down on your way so it's like this bikini that a, a player can fall down to so when another player falls into it it's really funny but when you fall into it it's not so funny but you do like mini games in between you have to try and get first place in them and if you get first place you get the biggest dice while you get last you only get like one dice or something so it's one of these games where you're always trying to get to the top basically but it's like a really fun game and it's also like all the house party games as well i really like the time bomb game where you have to try and think of like different things to like say for example the topic might be crips you may have to think of different flavor clip crip crisps i can't even say it today like for example you might have to say wopsits or you could say like um cheese nachos whatever that comes to your mind i guess some um, walkers whatever so it's a really fun game just lots of different games that you just play mini games you play a board game you play a family house game or you play like a game with just two people or the same games you play on your own as well it's like this game you have to guide me to a house and i really love playing that game on my own so yeah, it's just a really fun game it's, i definitely recommend to play this with your family or friends because it's really good as a group it's you can play on your own but it's not really the same so i'd say it's more of a family friends game but i absolutely love this game and i'll definitely give it a 9 out of 10 because it's just such an amazing game and it's really good fun and a good laugh when you're with lots of people Number two on the list is a classic Wii Sports. We all know Wii Sports. This game comes with the Wii when you get it. This is such a great game. It has all the classics on it. Golf, bowling, tennis, boxing. You can name them all. Basically, one of my favourite ones is boxing because I was always really good at that one. And I do love bowling as well. When you swing it back and everyone goes, oh, I find that bit so, so funny. I'd say out of all the games, I probably find golf the most boring because there's not really much atmosphere or music to it. But I do love all the games on Wii Sports and I love the training as well. So I definitely have to give this one a 9 out of 10 because I love Wii Sports and it's an absolute classic. And who doesn't love Wii Sports, eh? A great game to play with your friends and family. Number three on the list is Wii Fit Plus. Now I love to play Wii Fit. I play the Wii Fit U version now because I got the new version of it. So I play it literally all the time. But I love this game because you can do like all your exercise on it. It's a great way to exercise, especially when you're indoors during the coronavirus. It's brilliant to play. And there's just so many good games in it. And one of my favourite games is Snowball Fight because I just love throwing snowballs in people's faces i just find it so funny but i love all the games on wii fit plus there are so many different games in this like if you look on here it gives you all the different bits like there's balance games there's training games there's um there's yoga games there's, there's something for everyone that's why i love this game there's literally something for everyone so again i'm going to give this game another high score since it's so useful and you can do so many great workouts on that it. it's a good way to keep fit but a fun way to keep fit so i'm going to get keep i'm going to give it a nine out of ten right number four on the list is um sega superstars tennis now i like this game i think it's fun especially like the fiesta course with like the fiesta music and all that i think this is a good game however i find it really hard to unlock parts to this game i feel like you get stuck on certain parts for ages so i feel like the process is just a bit too long i do like this game but i wouldn't say it's one of my favorites i feel like there's bits lacking to this game compared to the other games that i've just talked about so i'd probably give this game a 6 out of 10. I know it's quite low scoring. It is a good game but it's not one of my favourites and I don't play it that often so I mean like I said there's good courses to it but I feel like it just takes forever to like open up things and it's just quite hard in certain ways so but yeah I'd give it a 6 out of 10 because it's not one of my favourites. Number five is Family Ski Resort. This is basically a game where you can like ski down lots and lots of places and basically there's not really any like proper like challenge this game it's more just relaxing and skiing about lots of different areas you can like do tricks when you go off the slopes and all that that's kind of challenge i suppose but i wouldn't say there's a much challenge to this game 
I do like playing it with friends, it can be quite a laugh like and have a bit of fun scheme with your friends. But the only thing I don't like about this game is that it's not much of a challenge to it, like I said. I like the challenge to games. I feel like it's not really much challenge consent. It's more just like a fun game. Like when you're kind of in a relaxed mood, not in a challenge mood, it's quite good. But if you want a game in a competition, which I like, it doesn't really work very well. I'd say this game is fun, but it gets a bit boring and a bit repetitive after a while. So I'd probably give this a 7 out of 10. But I do really like this game. I think it's an exciting game. I also love getting pictures taken and be able to give goofy looks. It's quite fun. But I wouldn't say it's the best game in terms of like challenge. But it is a good game. So I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Number 6 on the list for me is Just Dance Free. Now I really like Just Dance. It's really fun. Especially when you're playing it with lots of people. Because you get like in the way of each other. And it's like so funny. But I do love dancing. It's really good fun. And it's really good for you. Your mental, It's really good for your mental health. And everything like that. However the only thing about this game is that it's really hard to score high scores on it. Like you feel like you could put your absolute all into it. And still not really get very far. So that's the only thing I don't like about this game. That I feel like it's a bit too hard at points. I mean... I do, I do think, I do like the challenge, it is fun, but I just think, like, sometimes it can be a bit too much, like, you put absolute effort in, it gives you just two stars, so I'm thinking, and it's basically saying, oh, you didn't try hard enough, even though you, you literally went for it, and for, and it's really annoying when you do, like, a move, it doesn't register it, and I find that really annoying sometimes, and sometimes that's what happens with the Wii Fit Plus as well, like, it might not register a move, and you're playing, like, steps or whatever, it's the same thing happens on this, but I think a wee bit more frequently, maybe, but... I do like this game, but I wouldn't say it's my absolute favourite. It's not one of the, my go-to games, so I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. But it is a fun game. I do enjoy playing it, especially with a group of people. It's really good fun and a good laugh. Number 7 is Wii Play, and I absolutely love Wii Play. The only thing about Wii Play is that there's not many games in it, but the games in it are really, really good. Like, it's a shooting game, I really like that. I really like the bubble popping game, I really like the horsey game. There's also so many good games in it. The one game I don't like, though, is Pool Table, because it's just, like, so boring with no music and no app. There is music, but it's a bit boring. There's no atmosphere. The only thing about this game is that you can only play with two players, so it's kind of lacking in that way. It's not really a group game, it's more of like a game to either play on your own or just with one person. So it's not really for like groups of people, but it's a really good game, it just pass time. And I do really like this game, I, I do go to this game quite a lot, it's just a really relaxed and enjoyable game. And it's got a lot of really like fun games on it. So I'd probably give this one an 8 out of 10, because I really like We Play. I wouldn't say it's the best game ever because I think the only thing that about it that I'm not keen on is the fact that I kind of wish there was more games on it. Like, I feel like there's not quite enough. I suppose Wii Sports doesn't have a lot on it either, but Wii, even Wii Sports has more than what Wii Play has. So that's why I'd give it an 8 out of 10 because it's kind of lacking in games and the fact you can only play with up to two players, but it is a good game. So number eight on the list is that we have Wii Sports Resort. Now, I love Wii Sports Resort. This is basically like the next version from Wii Sports. And I love this game because there's like different games in it. It's like you get cycling on this one, you get canoeing on this one, and you get so many like different, you get frisbee on it. You get so many different kind of games in this. And there's literally something for everyone. I think it's just a really fun game. And there's also Mortis in Wii Sports, which I like. Sometimes you get like a new upgraded game and it's not really as good as the last game. There's not as much to it or it's not as exciting. But this game, it, I think, is actually better than Wii Sports in a way. I feel like there's more to it. And I just really love the gameplay of it. And I'm really good at a lot of the games on this. And I do enjoy playing this. It's plus especially good being able to play this like in a group of people. I think it's a really fun game to play with like another person. So yeah, I'd probably give this game a 9 out of 10 because I do really like this game. I don't play it very often, but I do really like the game. And when I do play it, I, I do really well in the mini games. So I do enjoy it a lot. Now, game number nine is a game that we should all know, Mario Kart. Now, we all love Mario Kart. Mario Kart is classic. And I actually prefer this version to the Wii U version. I think this is so much better. I just think the games are so much more exciting on it. And I really prefer the courses on it, like the Mushroom Course. I really like the Mushroom Course. And I like the, the Rainbow Course as well. I like the... Oh, yeah, and the, the, the one, what what is it called? Oh, the, the, I think it's the shopping one, isn't it? I like that one as well. But, yeah, this is such a good game. This is so fun, especially when you play it with lots of people. The only thing is, when you play with lots of people, the screens go really tiny, so you can hardly see your car. It's, like, really quite hard. But I like the challenge to it, and I just think it's a really fun game. And Mario Kart never gets old. You play it literally all the time and you never get fed up with it. That's what I love about this game. You'll never get fed up with it. So I'm definitely giving this game a 9 out of 10 because it's such a great game. I really love it. It's just so good. Like, 
Yeah, Mario Kart is ace. Who doesn't like Mario Kart, eh? Now, last on the list is that we have Super Mario Galaxy. Now, I really like this game. I really like the, the content to it. I really like all the challenges and adventures to it. I managed to get quite far in this game. It was quite good. And I really like it when you attack the enemies. I think that's the really exciting part. And I'm actually quite good at that part. And the only thing about this game is that you can only play up to two people. That's the only thing I don't like about this game. And the fact that some of the enemies are so hard to attack. They end up being on it for ages to the point it absolutely frustrates you. But this is a good game. I wouldn't say it's a go-to game for me though. I wouldn't say it's like one of my favourites. So I'd probably score this game like a 7 out of 10. I mean it is a good game but I wouldn't say it's one of my favourites so I'd put it there. But yeah it is a good game. It is fun. And like I said not every game is for everyone. So some people may think this is a 10 out of 10. This is amazing but that's just how I feel about it. Thank you so much to everyone for watching my video on all the Wii games I rated. At some point I'm going to do a game with me rating all my Wii U games, so make sure you check out for that later in the year. But yeah, I really enjoyed filming this video, and as you can see I didn't put a 10 out of 10 for any of the games because I am so fussy. There's always something that's stopping me from giving a certain game a 10 out of 10, because no game is perfect, but nothing's perfect in life, and that's what I'm trying to get out here. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this, and like I said, some of the games I give lower ratings for, you guys may disagree and think, wow, that game's amazing and I'd give that a higher rating because we all have different tastes when it comes to games no one has the same taste to anything and that's what makes us interesting because if we were all the same it'd be boring wouldn't it but yeah anyway I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope you all have a good day bye for now